Hey, what's up you guys? It's Matt here, back again with another video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this one just released a special Contrary Department collection. And so this video, I kind of want to do a uh, review, first impressions of this special drop. Uh, so I want to go over the pieces that Vizum released for this collection and uh, let you know the pieces that I chose uh, to purchase. And then we'll do a unboxing and then a styling right after. And yeah, I think it'll be a cool little video and uh, show you guys some of the new items that Vizum just released, um, which I think is going to be super insightful and helpful uh, for the community. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so Vism actually released this uh, special contrary department collection on Saturday, July 16th, uh, 2022. And they had a bunch of retailers worldwide kind of participate in this special collection, uh, Canoe Club being one of them. So right now I'm on Canoe Club's website and they've kind of laid out all the items that they released for the collection. Uh, so I'm just going to be going over the items and then talking about the pieces that I chose uh, to pick up from the collection. So if you guys aren't familiar with Contrary Department, it's a sub-label of Visvim that primarily focuses in military and workwear garments. Uh, they actually have a little excerpt here uh, about Contrary Department. Uh, it says here, the garments were created with uh, specific purposes in mind, whether that be for field or specialized tasks, uh, for harsh weather and difficult terrain. And then all in all, this concept line reinterprets and reconstructs utility wear. Uh, as a whole and uh, so for this collection they released five separate items we have the field chino pants the harrier down vest the jumbo tee the wallace shirt and the jumbo short body sweat three-fourth sleeve uh, so starting it off we have the field chino pants they released both in beige and light green and uh, so what these remind me most of is the typical uh, chino pant high water uh, silhouette that they release pretty much every single season so it's a classic straight leg chino pant with pleats down the center and a high rise and regular fit in the waist so these chino pants actually feature you know hand washing and distressing uh, to make it look like kind of like a worn in vintage style pant and uh, so it looks like they have kind of like a stone wash and paint marks throughout and really makes makes the the, the color look very subtle and faded uh, which is a really good look in my opinion it says here that it uses long staple cotton uh, side pockets rear inset pockets and then this was a limited release uh, so model is six foot 180 pounds wearing a size three uh, so it seems to me that they fit pretty true to size and uh, as you can see, just a really nice classic fitting chino pant. That pleat is a really nice look in my opinion. And uh, cut very wide throughout the, uh, the leg, which I think looks very well with chunky sneakers, um, which is how they pair it as well. And just a really versatile um, chino pant. So in addition to the beige color, they obviously did the light green, which very, very nice color. And uh, you can see a little paint mark there throughout. And it uses really nice uh, metal buttons here as well. So really uh, functional chino pant. I think it's uh, a no-brainer with these. So I actually picked up the, uh, the beige pair just because I had uh, other green colored pants and I didn't have uh, too many beige pair of pants. So. So yeah, I picked these up. Moving on, we have the Harrier Down Vest in Navy. Uh, it also released in Olive and Khaki. So retail on this was $1,895. If you guys are familiar with the uh, Harrier Down Jacket, I think they first released it in Fall Winter 2020. Um, so this is kind of like the, the vest version of that full length jacket. Uh, so it says here is a downfill vest perfect for any season uh, It's made with long staple uh, fiber twill that has been hand distressed uh, Features a cinch across the chest two large hand pockets and a dual zip closure so Models wearing a size 4 so this is uh, fits pretty true to size 
and it also is reversible which is really nice to see especially with this high retail price point you want the jacket to be the jacket or vest to be as versatile as possible and it being rever reversible um, it's kind of like having two jackets in one um, which is really nice but yeah just a really cool um, classic military vest so I personally think the olive and khaki colors were better um, the olive especially it's got really nice fading and color variation and here it is in khaki as well so these sold out very quick um, didn't get a chance to purchase I'm not sure I would at this retail price um, but it's a really really cool vest and if I had the money I definitely would have, would have uh, pulled the trigger so moving on we have the jumbo tee um, they made it in navy olive and white so retail on this was $225 so it says here um, the jumbo tee is pretty much an oversized um, wide and boxy silhouette and this one is made using a very soft uh, washed out uh, cotton which makes it feel very vintage like and uh, so it features a single stitch body and then a really awesome silk screen uh, logo print on the chest there sun faded as well which gives it a really nice uh, vintage quality in addition to the very soft cotton that was used on it and uh, the logo itself is really cool kind of reminds me of like the Bentley logo and then you have this one branding on the center there so they did this in navy and then olive and white I personally think the white was the best color um, out of the bunch so I actually went ahead and purchased the white one just a classic graphic tee I think it looks very good um, when you layer it and you have the pop of Viz and branding uh, under the shirt or jacket that you layer with and uh, looks like the uh, contrary department tag actually changed to um, before it was white and black and now they actually made it uh, black and gold which is a cool look okay so moving on to the Wallace shirt they did it in ivory light green and uh, black kind of looks navy in my opinion uh, so the Wallace shirt if you guys don't know is a very very oversized uh, boxy and cropped Hawaiian style shirt uh, so the retail on this one was $685 and uh, it says here it was made from uh, silk fabric and then it has a bunch of uh, silk screened Bizroom logos. So this is the same logo that we saw on the uh, Jumbo tee. Uh, just uh, a lot more of them everywhere throughout the fabric. So this being silk, it's going to have a very loose and flowy drape, um, which is really nice for the summer. Very... Uh, comfortable as well and then it also used water buffalo horn buttons which we always love either a really cool nut or a horn buttons on garments i think it makes the garment really pop and gives it that extra special you know detail that um, just makes the garment that much better so in addition to ivory they did it in light green as well i think this was my favorite color of the bunch um, I already had a light green wall, so I didn't feel the need to pick this one up. But it was a, it would be a very, very good pickup um, if you guys did. And then finishing it off, we have the black, or I guess navy colorway, however you want to see it. it looks navy to me, um, but it's navy with the white screen printed uh, logos everywhere throughout. But yeah, just a super versatile um, Hawaiian style button up shirt okay and finishing off the collection they released these jumbo short body sweat uh, three-fourth sleeve um, crew necks so retail on these was uh, 685 dollars and so this is a distressed version of the jumbo crew necks and it's been hand washed and distressed and also sun faded which gives it that really really worn in and vintage uh, characteristic and so we have a drop shoulder and then raw cut three fourth length sleeves. And so it says this was uh, garment dyed by hand, hand distressed, has a V neck stitch detail at the neck. And uh, I believe these also feature um, paint splatter detailing. 
uh, which we always love to see. And then uh, looks like cool crash detailing everywhere throughout. I think uh, this color comparative to the green and blue um, wasn't as good just because you couldn't really tell all the uh, processing that was done to it. So um, I chose to go for the olive one. The navy was especially, especially cool. Um, you could really, really tell the sun fading and distressing um, up here on the shoulders. And uh, this one sold out the quickest out of all three. So I couldn't get my hands on the blue. So I had to settle for the olive, but I think uh, the olive is still very, very good. I, I was looking for kind of like an olive sweatshirt for my collection. So this is the perfect addition uh, to the wardrobe. But you can see we have really nice sun fading along the collar and then some distressing as well. We have green uh, paint splatter down here on the right and then obviously crash distressing uh, throughout the fabric. So yeah, all in all, I picked up the uh, field chino pants in beige, the uh, jumbo tee in white, and then the uh, jumbo show body sweat uh, three fourth sleeve in olive. And uh, so those are my pickups. So I guess uh, next we'll wait until they come in, and then I'll do a little unboxing, and then afterward I'm planning on showing them on body and maybe. Um, show a few styling outfits as well. Okay, so it's been a couple days since I ordered those items from Visvim's uh, recent contrary department uh, drop and uh, So now I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and kind of give you guys like my uh, initial first impressions on them And then we'll go into uh, you know what they look like on body and I'll, I'll show a few outfits uh, afterwards. Okay, so the first package here we have uh, from North store uh, which is a retail company uh, located in Denmark and so I believe I ordered the field chino pants from them in beige in a size 2 and I paid $529 uh, total for them uh, they had free shipping and no taxes which is really nice so it comes in kind of like a plastic bag um, so what I'm seeing is these bags are similar to the indigo camping trailer um, packaging but this is obviously the contrary department line. Uh, so uh, they are beige in size two. So this having a new name, the field chino pants. Um, I was curious to see if this was gonna be, you know, a new silhouette, but what it seems to me is it is a, a regular relaxed fitting chino, which is a, a very similar cut to their um, high water chinos um, from previous seasons, just with a new name. Uh, so we have a typical kind of like wide or straight fit throughout the leg. We have a pleat down the middle, uh, two slant pockets, and then a button front closure. It actually uses these really cool um, antique metal buttons with peerless branding. If you can see that. Um, so I believe these are washed and damaged processed uh, i imagine they do sort of like a stone washing on them and it leaves this, them with this really nice fading uh, along the seams a little coin pocket here and then here is the back side so here's the tags on it contrary department field chino pants yeah these are looking very very nice um it even has cool little paint marks and distressing along the fabric. Yeah, looks like just a really cool military inspired uh, chino pant. Here's the inside tag. So they did change their contrary department uh, tag. I believe they used to be white and uh, now they're black and gold, um, which I really enjoy. Uh, the new look, and then here is the tag. model number there yeah so that is the the first piece uh, moving on we have the order from uh, paint show and lefty which is a company based in Sweden okay and this is the order um, I love getting stuff from this retailer 
and they do really nice packaging and there's a little paint gel uh, stamp there. Okay, and he does give a nice uh, postcard. And that as well, a little thank you note. Okay, so the two pieces I got from them, as you guys already know, this really nice jumbo tee in uh, size four and this uh, three-fourth sweat crew in a size four as well. We're starting off with the, uh, the jumbo tee. So obviously being jumbo, it has kind of like a wide and oversized uh, fit and then has this really, really soft, uh, almost like textured uh, cotton and then this really cool uh, Visvin Contrary Department kind of screen print logo. And then we have a uh, new tag on the neck there. This is the tag for it. Jumbo T uh, white size four. But yeah, um, just a really cool graphic t-shirt. It's gonna go well with pretty much anything in your wardrobe. Here's the back side. Then now moving on to the uh, three fourths sweat uh, crew neck. Okay, so I believe these are uh, short body as well. So they're kind of cropped in the body compared to like the regular jumbo cuts. And uh, it has a really um, kind of like dry and textured, uh, washed out cotton feel. And then it obviously has crash detailing throughout. There is the uh, country department tag. We have really nice fading here on the collar. And then paint marks right there too. But this looks like kind of like a vintage crew neck that has seen some years of wear for sure um, and then here is the uh, three-fourth cut sleeve and they kind of left a raw but also did some real reinforcement on the end of the uh the cuff there so it looks to be a very wide and uh, boxy and cropped silhouette which i think will look really good so jumbo short body sweat three fourth uh, size four in the olive colorway so i was debating between this and the blue colorway that they came out with um the blue sold out so quickly that i couldn't get my hands on it um, so i had to settle for green but i thought both colorways were very impressive and very nice uh, the ivory you couldn't really tell all the processing and uh, kind of detailing when compared to the olive and blue uh, versions. Um, so I th that's why I thought these were, were better choices for me. Yeah, so um, I will show these on body next uh, with a few outfits. Okay, so this is the, uh, the Jumbo tee on body. So for the feet, I have Skagway G Pat and Lowe's in black. Pants, I have herringbone uh, wool linen Hakama trousers, uh, obviously the jumbo tee, and then a distressed uh, 101 jumbo jacket. I guess I can show you what the tee looks like on body. Um, so I'm five, again, five foot 10, 165 pounds, and this is a size four. Um, definitely fits oversized on me. I think I would have preferred a size three um, if it hadn't already sold out, but I'm planning on um, washing and drying this and hopefully it'll shrink a little bit the cotton on this is so so soft it feels like a vintage tee that has been worn uh, and washed for years and years and it's very thin and almost see-through uh, which is really cool and then the logo print itself is kind of um distressed and it looks like it's cracking and fading and yeah i'm really really in love with this tee um, I think it's going to go well with pretty much anything in my wardrobe and it's super comfortable, super light and flowy. And yeah, really, really happy uh, with this pickup. Okay, so these are the field chino pants on body. Uh, really, really happy with the fit. It's got a uh, wide and straight leg and then a front pleat. Um, really, really light and soft uh, fabric, really washed in, uh, which is nice, uh, really comfortable. That's what they look like on the side. And yeah, so outfit wearing a, a sand suede, seven hole, 73 fold boots, the field chino pants, uh, same jumbo uh, tee from this collection, 
and then a Hayward short jacket. And yeah, uh, these are gonna be super versatile. You can wear them with sneakers, with boots, and gives it kind of like the rugged military aesthetic. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with these. Um, I really like purchasing pieces that are super versatile and that will go with um, multiple garments in your wardrobe. Um, that's how you can get the most out of your money, in my opinion, uh, with Dism clothing. So yeah, sticking to pieces that that you can play around with and wear them in multiple outfits is a really smart choice. But yeah, so those are the uh, Fiocchino pants. Okay, so this is what the uh, jumbo short body, three fourth sweat, uh, crew net looks like on body. Uh, so this is a size four. Uh, for reference, I'm five foot ten, 165 pounds. Um, to me, I would have personally rather a size three just because the sleeves are a little longer than I would want. Um, but I just fold them up and it gives it kind of like a cool look. So uh, on feet, I have the uh, Visman Bootsy Folk. Uh, for the pants, we have a Indigo in Mud Dive 01 Slim Corduroys. And then I have underneath a Ivory Uneven Dye T-shirt. And yeah, this um, sweatshirt is super casual which I really like. It goes well with pretty much everything in my wardrobe and you can throw it on with any outfit and it kind of just like elevates um, that outfit. So this is kind of what it looks like up close. You can see it has really nice paint marks and crash detailing kind of everywhere throughout the fabric. And yeah, I mean, the color I think looks really well with other Visvim clothing because it's so faded, so distressed, and goes well with kind of like the um, the worn-in vintage aesthetic that Visvim has been doing lately. And yeah, so uh, this is the, uh, the Jumbo 3 4 Sweat sweatshirt. So yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please consider commenting down below what your uh, favorite pickup was that I purchased from the uh, contrary department collection. And if you picked up any pieces for yourself, please let me know down in the comments below as well. Um, if you liked the video, please consider liking uh, and subscribing to the channel. It really helps me out. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Grail. The links will be in the description below. Also put post notifications on both YouTube and Instagram so you don't miss any of the Vism content or the Vism listings that I will be doing in the future. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good one.